What's up, everybody? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> well, here we are tonight. Uh, blessed to come to you and uh, just share with you a little bit of joy of the Christmas holiday. Um, we have been enjoying a great day at um, at church and uh, as a family. And yes, you might hear little Luke here at some point. He's with us in full tilt and uh, so we just uh, are blessed to be with you here tonight on WCD worship communion and devotion and uh, we will be um, tonight doing a little bit of Christmas music um, and we will do uh, some communion together we'll take the Lord's Supper together and uh, a little bit of, of uh, expository sharing of the word, but we're not going to get too deeply involved in that tonight. We're just, we want to celebrate with you guys the goodness of Jesus. And so here we go.
tonight, we just want to say thank you for our dear friends and family all over this United States. And uh, tonight, we just want to share your love, God. And uh, we want to receive it back, of course, in some way, some shape, some fashion. But Lord, we're not concerned about that right now. We're, we want to give it away, Lord, and help us all to have that kind of mentality this year, this holiday season. May we all realize we have you inside and may we be quick to give you away to those that need you, Lord. We just uh, take this moment to say thank you for all you've done for us, to say thank you for Luke and to say thank you for the Livesey family, for Linnell and for Laurie and for Johnny, for CJ and um, just for blessing us so much with the arrival of Johnny's parents here in our town. Lord, we're so blessed to have our family here and Johnny's family, it's such a blessing. And Nicole, his little sister, and just pray your blessings upon all of our friends tonight, Lord. May yeah. we reach out to you during this crazy time. May we be fast to realize that our peace is in you. Mm -hmm. And fast to realize, Lord, your peace means everything. Mm -hmm. When the whole world is falling apart, we can have peace and we can have your joy in our hearts just because of who you are, Father, and who you came to be in our lives and who you mm -hmm. sent Jesus to be for us. We love you. We thank mm -hmm. you. We receive that gift of Jesus tonight. Amen. And we all say amen. amen. Yes. Uh, well, I am just uh, so happy to have Linnell and Laurie here tonight with me, <laughs> of course, and Luke. Do you guys want to say a little something to anybody out there? Merry Christmas. I hope you all get to spend it with as many family members as you're able to. I know this is a weird year, um, but I think more than ever, it's important to focus on the Lord and, um, and his will for our lives. And <laughs> it's such a joy to be a mom and enjoy Luke observing so much more this year as, you know, he just turned one in September. And so getting to see him react to lights and even just stuff like that is is so much fun to do really for the first time this year. We're, you just we're loving my, it. Did you just eat my communion? Maybe. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Got Lukey snacks. Lukey snacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Laurie, would you care to Yeah, I just wanted everybody? to say Merry Christmas to everyone watching and um, and just that we, we love you, we're thinking about you, and, and uh, thanks for being a part of our lives. And... You know, I just want to encourage everybody that we live in an unprecedented time. Our pastor was sharing this morning about how um, there's just an attack on joy. Yeah. And I just have to say that I really believe that that's true. I know that, mm -hmm. that um, I have felt a personal attack on my joy this week, and we have to make a, we have to have to make a, constant, uh, a concentrated decision to walk in joy and keep yeah. our joy and keep our peace in this time and yeah. you know we live in an unprecedented time where i've never seen such an attack of the enemy on um not only our joy but the projection of fear to make our decisions in life yeah you know and an example of that i was sharing with linnell this week how i saw an article no joke, it almost sounds like I'm joking when I say this, an article this week that was asking people to not hug and kiss their children when they get home from school because it could actually get the adults sick. And I just thought to myself, this is the epitome of the enemy talking through the news. <laughs> really? Really? Since when do we allow fear to make our decisions on how we're going to act. Since when do we allow the enemy to, um, to project something like that on us to where we would actually say, I'm not going to hug and kiss children because I'm afraid of getting sick for a virus that has a 99% survival rate. Are you kidding me? So yeah. I just, I read stuff like that, I hear stuff like that, and I just think, oh my gosh, I look back at times in my life where I've had to make decisions, and I've had to ask myself, is this decision based in, on fear or faith? Right. And so we're living in a time and a day and age where every single believer, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where we say, okay, 
I'm going to walk on, in faith. I'm going to make my decisions based on God's word and what he tells me I am, whose I am, and what I have the ability to access in my life. And what I have the ability to access in my life is the fact that God is for me. And if God is for me, who can be against me? Right. If God is the author of all things good, then we can trust that he has a plan, a purpose, and he's, he's just got us. Mm -hmm. He's absolutely got us, he and he's, he's got us in the palm of his hands. He has us in the palm of his hands, and we don't have to worry about it. And so that's my encouragement for you is just keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Keep your eyes focused on what the word of God says and just know who you are. And if you don't know whose you are, then get into the word and find out who you are and find out what he has to say about your life because he has good things to say. He has good things planned for this next year. That's right. And there's a lot of good in the midst of a very weird unprecedented year. I look at this year and people are, oh, what a horrible year. I hope it's better the next year. Yes, it has been a crazy year and there have been horrible things about it, but there's actually been a lot of really good things about this year too. Mm -hmm. uh, Luke has been just such a bright spot in this year and other things that I could talk about. So that's that's like, where your where is your focus going to be? Mm -hmm. Is your focus going to be on just the negative or is your focus going to be on the positive and the positives are there's a lot of positives too you just have to look for them well the truth about the, about the matter is that jesus told us that in the last days we're going to have tough times we're going to have difficult times and so in this world there will be tribulation exactly there's <laughs> going to be persecution i mean let's be real mm -hmm. uh times may not get like they used to be i don't know I'm welcoming them if they do come, mm -hmm. but I also remember so much of the word preparing mm -hmm. us for difficult times, mm -hmm. Prepar mm -hmm. preparing us for times when there was ungodliness in our country. Mm -hmm. And um, we got to be ready for that. And we got to be ready to live like the Bible is true, mm -hmm. like the word is true, and like uh, the promises of God stand on their own, even mm -hmm. though all hell falls, you know, is, re is unleashed on mm -hmm. the earth. Mm -hmm. Bye, Linnell. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Love you. Bye, sweetie. Um, in spite of everything that the enemy could possibly mm -hmm. do, we have to be believers at the end of the day. We have to stand firm in our faith. You know, I just, sometimes I'm, I'm baffled a little bit, Laurie, at, at how many church services we've all been to, how many messages we've heard about, about the armor of God, about who we are in Christ, about all the amazing things that Jesus did for us, and now we're gonna freak out? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think so. Think so. This mm -hmm. isn't time for us to freak out. Mm -hmm. This is time for us to mm -hmm. be strong. Mm -hmm. If he ever said be strong in the Lord, this is this is the time now mm -hmm. for us to start being more strong mm -hmm. than we've ever been before. Mm -hmm. And um, that's right. That's just you know, and the it's word for it's time. incredible how you can take for granted your ability to speak life or death into a situation. I mean, I ha got a text from a friend today, and she said, "Can you call me as soon as possible?" So we got out of church. I called her. She had some legitimate concerns about stuff that's happening right now. And I shared with her some thoughts. And what did she say at the end? She said something like, boy, you made me feel a little bit better, you know? And I just thought, wow, you know, it's a humbling place to be in where you hang up the phone and just think, you know, who am I that I even deserve a phone call from somebody that thinks I have something to say. And it's not that I have all the answers, but it just the profound, the, just the profound thought of life and death and the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. So what words are you speaking to your friends? What were, are you trying to encourage them with what's going on right now? Or are you speak? Oh, it's just all over. It's just, you know, I mean, it's just, life and death and the power of the tongue what are you speaking over your family your marriage your circumstances your friends and the future there's a lot on the line right now and we all feel it we all feel the pressure of what's going on there's a right. lot right i just want to also encourage everybody that if you're not being encouraged by the people around you 
uh, by the church you attend, if you're not being encouraged in, in the things of God, you got to get somewhere where you're being encouraged. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when the, when it all comes down, I, I need encouragement, you need encouragement, mm -hmm. um, and I know every person mm -hmm. listening to us right this moment, you need somebody speaking life into you mm -hmm. during these crazy times uh, when you don't know exactly who to believe. You don't know really which news station to watch. Thankfully, a lot of you are, are waking up to the fact that Just turn it off. bad news <laughs> is not something you want to hear all the time. I can't take bad news all the time. So I need, I even need the news to speak to me, if at all possible, and give me a little, just a monicum of hope. Uh, because uh, I can't just listen to mm -hmm. dreariness all the time. So get to the right place. Choose the right friends. If you've got to adjust your inner circle to have people in your inner circle that you talk to every day that are speaking into your life, that you ask for advice from, if it's not good advice, if it's not uplifting, if it's not at least giving you some hope, maybe we need to arrange those friends just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not get rid of the friends that mm -hmm. are negative, but mm -hmm. just set them outside of mm -hmm. the, the inner core of your life. Now, that's mm -hmm. just getting into real life mm -hmm. with Psalm chapter 1, verse mm -hmm. 1. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we could go for another hour easily with that. But um, we just are so blessed to be with you guys here tonight. And we believe mm -hmm. that the word is encouraging. And uh, the spirit of God is encouraging. He's cheering us on. I know that the, uh, the cloud of witnesses up uh, in heaven right now are cheering us on through this time. They're, say they're saying, we saw some dark days. We saw some heavy times. But we made it. We're here. We're waiting for you. Mm -hmm. You gotta finish strong. Mm -hmm. I can hear my father saying it to us. We Maybe. gotta finish strong. So mm -hmm. uh, let's let's finish strong, you guys, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, let's encourage each other. Uh, call your friends, your your loved ones, the people that you love and you care mm -hmm. about. Encourage, encourage, mm -hmm. encourage. Mm -hmm. That's part of who we are as believers in Jesus. Amen. So um, let's take some communion together. What do you okay. say? Would you join me we'll for that? We'll share. We'll share communion. Yeah, we'll split it. Uh, <laughs> if you guys have your communion um, elements. Mm -hmm. Sacraments. Sacraments. <laughs> Please run and get those sacraments mm -hmm. and let's uh, partake of the Lord's Supper together. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab mine. So uh, this is part of our time together is communion. We're right in the middle of it, and we're going to be wrapped up here in a few moments. But uh, we just want to take a moment and say thank you, Jesus, for uh, the amazing work at Calvary you did for us. Thank you so much for being born a baby. And we celebrate your birth at this yes. moment, this time, in this, this period of our month. But... Uh, we uh, want to say thank you for being born. Thank you for coming to this earth. Thank you for being God in the flesh. Thank you for dwelling among us. Thank you for living a sinless yes. life. Thank you for inspiring us the way that you do. Yes. Thank you for giving your life on the cross for our sin. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being that eternal sacrifice. And uh, thank you so much. We look back and we remember tonight. Mm -hmm. That's what communion is, is we just simply acknowledge and remember what you did for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, Laurie, would you bless the bread, the, the body of Christ? Just say a prayer and thank the Lord for it. Lord, we just thank you for what this represents, your yes, body Jesus. that was bruised and broken for us, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you paid it all. Yes, Jesus. We're so grateful, God. You're amazing, Lord, and we just take and eat this bread together as we remember the sacrifice that you made. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We're so forever grateful in yes. Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's eat together. And Lord, we take this sacrament of your blood tonight. We remember the blood that was spilled for us for the remission of our sins. We thank you for it the fact that it ratifies the new covenant. And uh, mm -hmm. we thank you for the blood that was shed from your crown of thorns, uh, 
you're scathed back uh, from the beating, from the, the wound of the spear in your side, from the nails in your hands and your feet. Thank you that blood was not shed in vain. It's still good. That redemption is still good. That healing is still good. That provision that is, is ours is still good. And Lord, tonight we remember and we love you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's drink together. say praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, honey. Mm -hmm. I want to do one more song for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We loved being with you tonight. Have a wonderful Christmas, and uh, we will talk with you soon. Be strong. If you need me, give me a call, okay? <laughs>